Uh, Ms. Khalid, over to you now, please. Uh, thanks very much, Chair. I appreciate uh, you and, and the time that we have to talk about this very important issue. First and foremost, I, I just want to be very clear. I have no issues with any minister coming before this committee to answer questions. I have no issues with holding members of our government, including bureaucracy, to account for what has happened here. What I am concerned about is efficiency. It's about how are we, just as, as we, you know, like the conservatives have really gone down this, this massive uh, fishing expedition. Unfortunately, they haven't caught any fish so far. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering what is We caught is one the that's about $60 million in size. Ms. Ms. Mr. Barrett, would you like to be added to the speaking list? Mr. Barrett, would you like to be added to the speaking list? Back to you, Ms. 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 Khalid. What's happening? Thank you. I, I appreciate that, Chair. And uh, to Mr. Barrett, uh, there is no fish that has been caught here. As many as thousands and thousands of hours that you guys have spent in trying to find something here that is passing your sniff test. And the fact that you keep on calling so many committee meetings on this tells me that you haven't really found anything. I think what we have found and what we all of us, all parliamentarians agree on is that something happened here with the Arrive Can app that we need to make sure that bureaucrats are held responsible, that we want to make sure that the money that was paid out to these middle management folks is brought back into, uh, into our government, and that Canadians have accountability for how their tax dollars are spent. What we are not finding here, regardless of all of your countless efforts, is that this was a ministerial sign-off, that, that the Prime Minister, for some reason, signed off on this. That is not what has happened here. And we've spent, what is it, 6,000 hours on this so far? Well, let's talk about not finding anything for 6,000 hours and what is one or two more hours of the Treasury Board president going to do to come in to say, all right, let me add to the 6,000 uh, 6, hour tally and millions of dollars of taxpayers so the conservatives can go sniffing and trying to find something and they haven't found anything. What I would appreciate is if we have public officials coming in to talk about what the next steps are, to talk about how we can get our taxpayer dollars back, to talk about how we can fix the process here. Can we not make everything political? I, I would really appreciate if, if we're not just, you know, trying to, to find those cheap political wins in every single thing that the conservatives are doing. Let's actually do something productive. That's what the purpose of the Public Accounts Committee is, Chair. And I really appreciate all of your efforts in making sure that we are trying to to, to do our very best to hear from all the witnesses. But reality is, we still don't have a game plan. We've had so many meetings here in this committee. We still don't have a game plan as to what our next steps are within, within this committee. We can call a million and one witnesses, but an, until and unless we as a committee decide, okay, this is how we are going to move forward. These are the recommendations that we are going to provide to our government. This is, is what we need to do to make sure that something like this does not happen again. Then why are we going down a wild goose chase? And again, I reiterate, I have no problems with any minister appearing before the committee. I think that it is ineffective. It is a waste of taxpayer dollars. It is a waste of all of the, the amazing people that are in the room right now making sure that this meeting happens. It is, it's unfortunate. And, and I, I, I would hope that my colleagues would, would agree with me on this. And I know that uh, my conservative colleagues are still going to go down this path of a, of a witch hunt uh, and try to find something uh, that, uh, that, that they, can, they can just take and, and run with. But, um, but at this point, I, I think perhaps the best thing that we can do is rather than having the minister come in, it would be to bring in um, the officials of the TBS back to talk about how we are going to, to move forward on this, how we are going to hold to account and make sure that this does not happen again in the future. So um, I would then move that amendment to say that uh, we remove um, 
or we changed the president of the Treasury Board to say, invite back officials from TVS. Just one sec. Uh, Ms. Khalid, I'm, I'm going to rule that that uh, amendment is out of order because it changes the fundamental nature of the motion. You're welcome to bring that back forward. Uh, I'm so sorry, Chair. I would love some clarification on why you think that's out of order. I mean, we don't, I, like I said in, in my remarks, we still don't have a work plan. We have no idea where we're going with this. We keep having meeting after meeting after meeting, not just in public accounts, but in so many other committees across, uh, across Parliament. So I don't know how you would rule this out of order if we don't even know what the purpose of, of all of this is. At the end of the day, are we trying to just find something to link to ministers, to, to link to, to give political scoring points to, to our conservative colleagues? Or are we trying to get to the bottom of this? And if we are trying to get to the bottom of this, to find next steps, to provide solid recommendations, then how is this out of order? Uh, it, cha it fundamentally changes the, the, the motion. You're welcome to bring so it forward. Uh, Ms. Ms. Khalid, I, I, I allow you to speak. Uh, please please uh, return the, the courtesy. You're welcome, to, you're, you're, you're welcome to bring it back if you want officials from uh, any department to either appear or, or come back. This is, about, uh, this is about calling a Minister of the Crown to appear before this uh, this this committee, so I'm ruling uh, your amendment out of order. You still have the floor, and I have two other speakers. Uh, point of order, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes. Before we continue on, uh, I would like to challenge the chair's decision. All right. Don't even, don't even a regular member of this committee. What does Icarus think about that? Love it. So uh, I will turn things over the to the clerk to uh, call a vote. Uh, and if, if you could just again, just uh, f to refresh everyone, uh, the amendment that's being made. Who's voting on behalf of the Bloc Québécois? Mr. Lemire, are you still with us? Good. Okie doke. Actually, Mr. If, uh, just, just to move things on, Ms. Ms. Khalid, could you repeat perhaps in the meantime, um, your amendment is to... Uh, thank you very much, Chair. My amendment is to change the wording, the President of the Treasury Board, to saying to invite back TBS, uh, uh, to, sorry, to invite back officials from the Treasury Board Secretariat. Thank you very much. I'm going to have the, the clerk will now call a roll call on that. Over to you, please. Shall the chair's decision be sustained? Mr. Van Bynen. No. Mr. Pavlovsky. No. Ms. Khalid. No. Ms. Shanahan? No. Ms. Yip? No. Mr. Genuous? Yes. Mr. Barrett? Yes. Ms. Cousy? Yes. Monsieur Lemire? Oui. Ms. Idlow? Yes. Five yeas, five nays. Very good. Ms. Khalid, you still have the, uh, the floor. Well, I think my vote is to sustain my ruling, obviously. Um, Ms. Khalid, you have the floor. The motion stands as, as presented by Mr. Genuist, with the exception we've corrected it to arrive, can. Ms. Khalid. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. I uh, appreciate that. And again, I'm a little disappointed that we don't have 
a, a clear pathway forward. I mean, w what are we doing here? We're spending so many taxpayer dollars in finding resources in, 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 in what's the objective here? I mean, to me, in this committee, the objective is for us to find clear cut recommendations in what the Auditor General's report was on Arrive Can to take what she wrote in consideration and to find a way for us with all of the, the witnesses that we have had to put together some solid recommendations and say, hey, this is what needs to happen going forward to make sure that that things like this do not happen again. This is what needs to happen to make sure that we are continuing to build the trust of, of Canadians in our democratic institutions. This is what needs to happen to make sure that we are able to bring back the, the money that was spent on this. This is what needs to happen to make sure that we find our fair value for the money that is spent going forward. And the fact that we don't have any of that and we keep on calling witnesses. I remember in December, I think it was December 12th, when all of us in this committee, well, the permanent members of this committee, I don't think any of whom are here today, um, but we spent over an hour working together to find out how we could find a, a, a consensus, how we could build that consensus and talk about accountability, talk about how we are going to move forward together, specifically on this issue. And the fact that since then to now, we haven't been able to, to find a pathway forward, to find the next steps is, is disappointing to me. And for us to keep on calling witnesses that have literally nothing to add to what has already been said, is, is disappointing to me as well. We have heard again and again and again from every single department on this that there was no ministerial sign-off on this, that ministers were not involved. This was a middle management issue. There are RCMP investigations happening. What is the role of our committee then if all we're going to do is just try to find linkages between political uh, work and, and with what has egregiously happened here. We can't keep doing that, Chair, and I, I would submit to you that I would ask you to perhaps reconsider that the best way forward for us here is not to try to find, uh, you know, like that, that red herring or whatever it is that the Conservatives are looking for, but to, to bring it back to, to reasonable decision-making as to what the next steps are. How are we going to fix our process? That is the role of what our committee is and, and should be doing, not to, to go down these fishing expeditions. So I, I would again submit to you, Chair, that I think that it is best that we bring in TBS officials to talk about those next steps rather than a minister who really, as we've heard time and time and time again, had nothing to do with this at all. I'll, I'll stop there, Chair, and uh, hopefully we'll come back to it in a, at a later time. Thank you very much.